making horse gram rasam and horse gram palya or usli and uh, for making this we need one cup of horse gram clean it and uh, wash thoroughly and then soak it overnight and uh, then drain the water and leave it for 24 hours to sprout it yields around 2 cups here is the sprouted horse gram we need around 2 and half cups of water to cook the horse gram and half cup more for grinding 3 4 teaspoon of salt ingredients for making palya 2 teaspoon of oil pinch of hing or asafoetida half teaspoon mustard seeds 2 red chillies broken into small pieces 1 4 teaspoon salt 5 to 10 curry leaves 3 tablespoon of freshly grated coconut half cup finely chopped cilantro or coriander leaves small marble sized tamarind soaked in water little bit of jaggery 2 teaspoon of rasam powder small piece of onion 3 tablespoon of freshly grated coconut 3 4 teaspoon of salt 10 to 15 curry leaves pressure cook this horse gram on a medium heat with 2 and half cups of water and add 2, 3 4 teaspoon of salt and uh, let it whizzle 4 to 5 times now we have this horse gram cooked i am going to transfer the water to a medium sized saucepan and i am taking half cup of cooked horse gram and keep it aside for the rasam and remaining is for palya for making the palya heat the oil on a medium heat in a pan once the oil is hot enough add ink mustard seeds once it pops add red chilies and mix and now add the cooked hot gram curry leaves break into small pieces and add the salt and mix well cover this and cook it until that water extra water evaporates stir this in between to avoid the burning in the bottom now it's been four minutes it is ready so finally i'm going to add this coconut mix well and now add the cilantro or coriander leaves mix well and turn off the heat and the palya is ready now for making the rasam we are going to grind horse gram onion tamarind along with the water coconut and rasam powder to a moderately fine consistency you may need to add some water to get the right consistency we have this ready add this to the water we took it from the cooked horse gram then add salt and add the curry leaves and mix well let it boil on a medium heat for 5 to 8 minutes now it's been 8 minutes the sum is done let's give the seasoning heat a teaspoon of oil add a little bit of ink and mustard seeds and let it pop and add this to the rasam and now the rasam is done horse gram rasam and palya is ready for our lunch i hope you enjoy making this too uh, for more recipes please visit our website at www.foodandrunway.com thank you